Not a lot of vegans. Not a lot of vegans. <laughs> <laughs> not a lot vegans, really. <laughs> Here. Yeah, it's starting to get more... It's just like a, 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 a cult. <laughs> That's what I wanted down. Thank you. Just recently, Derek had brought me to Cleveland where I saw the house he grew up in and met his old friends. There was a, a group of probably five or six of us on the street. Uh, music was always a big thing. So I decided to return the favour and take Derek to my hometown in Ireland, Mullingar, County Westmead. On the right up here is my, my grandmother's house. I'm going to bring you in and meet her. And she's very camera shy, but she is hilarious. So hopefully she warms up, but she thinks it's all very Hollywood. I hope I don't frighten her. No, she's seen photos of you. She said, okay. he's huge. <laughs> But in person, it might be something else. She might get all shy, but... Oh I'm shy. Sure. I'm the shy one. <laughs> That's true, actually. My granny, once you get her warmed up now, we'll give her a cup of tea. She's a man, pioneer her whole life, but we'll give her a cup of tea. Nanny's house. Oh. <laughs> I'll let you lead the way. Oh. Hasn't changed <laughs> a bit, like... Oh, wow. This okay. is her, her bike. This is where the dogs were all kept. Hello there. I like the bike. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Welcome home to the Aww. snow. You bring the snow. She's the snow. <laughs> <laughs> I brought the snow. How are you doing? And, and she brought me as well. Oh, Hi. Derek. It's a pleasure yeah. to meet you, finally. Oh, oh good no. to see you. Oh. I phoned just last night. I said Sorry, we did. Don't know. Make sure. yourself at home there. This is Melissa. Oh, this is how are you? Good, how are you? Yeah, Good to meet you. Welcome, 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 Welcome to Ireland. Is it your you. first visit? Yes, it is. I love and it. You're last. <laughs> you're lovely. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, hello, how are you? Doing? This is Wayne Ellie. Very nice to meet you. We're no. Port Leash originally. Port Leash, yeah. Brazil, yeah. Port, Port Leash, yeah. Cleveland, all oh, over. Yeah. All yeah. over. Who wants tea? Really strong? Yes. Yeah, really. Why not? Good good cup of tar. Davy, and my granddad used to call it tar. Many tea bags. Tar. Are, yeah. You'd leave the tea bag <laughs> in. And... <laughs> I leave it in as well. Do you? Technology. Was your granddad born here as well? We were all born in Mullingar. Oh, really? It. Yes. Wait till you see this place at one o'clock. They're feeding the whole time. Oh, no, thanks. I wouldn't like to come at one. You're not. That's same. why I came you're earlier. Same as, you're not the same as us. I was going to say you're not the same religion. You're not the same. The vegan. The vegans. Yeah. <laughs> this oh, one is a vegan as well. I know. Believe that's what I know. I know. People don't believe it, though. He's a giant vegan. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. Cup of cha. Well, you know, I eat spuds. Look, sure, that's all vegan. Well, that's all. No, no, that's fine. <laughs> the rest of it is hid. I see a lot of uh, vegan food on the menus in Mullingar now. An awful lot of vegans. I hear you're big into an awful lot of vegans. <laughs> an awful lot of vegans, really. <laughs> Here. Yeah, it's starting to get more... It's just like a, uh, uh, what, a cult. <laughs> That's what I wanted to say. One of them are... are, are... Thanks, Manny. Yeah. <laughs> is, it, is it a good cult, though? I mean, there's it not harming anybody. Is. No, right. there's no harm at all. In right. It. But it's, it's good for people that wants to do it. But I wouldn't uh, be bothered. You're basically that. vegan. You eat cabbage well, and potatoes. Yeah, well, I only eat very plain yeah. food. You know, I wouldn't be into, uh, like, when you go down to, I said you could do a history or a geography class below in, in Foxes. Yeah. We stopped off at Foxy's Fruit and Veg Shop where my whole family and I have been getting all our fresh produce for, well, my whole life. Foxy's family has had a fruit and veg shop in our community for almost 70 years. On our way to my house, we dropped in to pick up a few supplies and see if we could have a chat with Foxy himself. This is Derek. Hey, nice to meet you. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Uh, How are you guys getting on here? Good. Keeping good. the head down, working away. Yeah, yeah. Yourself. Busy, busy. Busy, I was busy. just telling them this is where I bought all my veggies. Well, you guys changed locations over the years. But... We did, of course, yeah. Yeah? More vegans, so you're getting more vegetables bought. Loads of vegans coming around the place. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> that coke group. They're honest to God, yeah. <laughs> Nanny just goes, it's kind of like a cult. <laughs> uh, it is, you know, honestly. And you'd spot them as well. You'd spot them? Yeah. What do we look like? You just normally drive Crocs. What? Crocs of cars. Crocs? Yeah, mostly hippies. <laughs> <laughs> There's one over there. He's working with me. That's Matthew. <laughs> Matthew all the way from Brazil. It must, it must be good. Brazil? Oh, another. Yeah. Brazil. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you Brazilian? 
Brasileiro? Very nice pronunciation. Brasileiro. Ah, eu falo um pouco português. Perfeito! <risos> Se Chip ele fala português? É, Entendi. que legal. Que legal. Você que... nasceu aonde? Em São Paulo, numa cidade interior. Paulistano. É isso aí, é, é isso aí. Pita, mano. Caramba! <risos> you remember Sepultura? I do, yeah. He's the singer. Go away. That's why I was speaking. Portuguese to our colleague there. Oh, yeah. that's good. It's brilliant. You're putting this thing together. I fought food in different countries. Food isn't it? and culture and everything. So Derek tours as much as me, and we're kind of taking people on the road to just show them how easy it is to eat healthier. And we're also looking into just environmentalism, eco-friendly, everything from cars to food to businesses. Lovely. So yeah, Lovely. we had to come back to Foxy's. I, well, yeah, of course you did. And this is where I got this my original start. The original vegetable. That started. It's in 1953. Is when you started. Yeah, yeah. My wow. father started. Your father. Yeah. yeah. And so it's always been family run. Family run. He snuffed it three years ago. Yeah, and uh, Sorry we to continue hear that. on the tradition, you know. That's what's really important, though. When you go around, there's some great places for organic food now as well. You know, it's it's people are becoming more aware of what they're eating. I think they are, yeah. Oh, they are definitely. Yeah. yeah. I was vegetarian for nearly two years. Oh wow, oh, wow. I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, I was living with a girl for two years, and she was vegetarian, so I went vegetarian. How did you feel? Brilliant. Really? But um. I'll never forget the evening that we split up. I went into Oscars and got a big steak. <laughs> <laughs> Delighted with me steak. I nearly died after. It took me about a week to digest, to digest it. it. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. when you notice the difference yeah. me is in your body. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's cool. So you're already yeah. veggie. Sure, look at you. You're surrounded by vegetables. Yeah. Make and a good stew every and day. It smells fantastic. Yeah. Well, it's all kind of hand picked. Like I go to the market three mornings a week myself, and then have another fellow that does the rest. You know. But I go up and I smell it, pick it make sure it's good, you know, feel it, touch it. That's what it's all about, you know, in, in, in the green grocer game, you know? Still involved in actually picking it, that's the thing. In the oh, big mass it. stores, it's like whatever, it's just bought in bulk. It's just bought by... That's why I always still come to you when I'm home. Ah, yeah. It makes and a difference. We support a lot of local growers yeah. as well in the area, you know, we've a good few local growers. This is vegan heaven, Foxy. It is, you know, yeah. <laughs> it is vegan well, that's heaven. It. Now we're going to just get loads of beautiful shots of the food and then mosey on. Go ahead, T <laughs> Tanya, yeah? I don't want to stop your customers. Just see people trying oh, to get geez. up here. OK. Heck it out. It felt so nostalgic walking around Foxy's. I've been getting my fruits and veggies here my whole life, and I love that they're such a community staple. For outside of just being a fruit and veggie shop, yeah, they always have, you know, if I needed like tamari sauce right. or apple cider vinegar or, you know, chilli, I was always amazed at that. They always just have it. You're like, stir fry. Yeah, just, I guess you oh. use that for a stir fry. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> Papaya Formosa. Formosa. Whoa. We have to get one. Zoom, 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 zoom. <laughs> Moulinger, <Yeah>. Brazil. <laughs> moo, moo. Nossa. Okay, we're going to have to get this some. Is, oh, I, I can't believe it. <laughs> and it's ready to go. Is it? Oh, oh let's, yeah. Okay, well, we're going to get it. Let's you get can tell it. by knocking on it, running your fingers. Run your fingers on that, Tanya. Get those gloves off. Yeah. So like the saw, so that? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, that's way down now. Yeah. So these are like too hard? You, or this you, one? Yeah, you want to get this, this color, one? actually. It's, it's a mini one, yeah. The mini child papaya. This. But but it's got, this, is, this is not right. So they're ready this to go. This one is getting there. This is already feels like it. So it should be like indenting like that. A little bit, yeah. And the yellowish color is a sign of it. Like this is not ready. Ah, but when it turns so like it should a be yellow. more yellow. Yeah, yeah. Like you can keep this in your house for a like few days, three days, just out, and then it'll be perfect. Okay, we're gonna yeah. get it and do that. Leave it another day and see oh, what happens. Oh yeah. On this show, it's no secret that I love papaya. In Brazil and in the U.S., I try to have papaya every day for breakfast. I'm feeling more and more at home here. That night, we all stayed the night in my house with my parents. Hello! Hello, <laughs> the tears are stuck. Oh, here, me, Derek. <laughs> Hello, nice to meet you. Finally, it's so much fun to get it. Hello, John. Are you and Cameron? Hello, Cameron. 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 Hello, we got in late, and after such a long day, we only had time to say some hellos and fall your robes before we hit the lava. That's Irish for bed. 
The next morning, Derek and I had breakfast and a chat with my folks. I was very excited to see where Tanya had come from. Maybe even hear some embarrassing stories about Tanya as a child. I also wanted to show my appreciation for letting me stay, so I cut up the papaya that we had bought yesterday at Foxy's and I dished it up Brazilian style. I served it up with lime. Some people like it, some people don't. I was eager to see what the O'Callaghan's had to say about it. You just squeeze it over and just, yeah, get it in. Oh, yeah. Try that with the lime first. Let's see, okay. And then you can try it without. Just so you, oh, yeah, it's really so. Mmm. Very oh, refreshing. Tell me all about Tanya. <laughs> <laughs> Everything about Where the fuck is with that? Yeah, Tanya, you know, she's interesting, obviously, but uh, <laughs> we had this nice, normal family, and Tanya arrives into it as one of our extraordinary kids. We were lucky that way. We have a couple of really nice kids. <laughs> when she announced her this day that she, she didn't want to eat meat anymore, mm -hmm. and we were here sitting like she's only very I've, young. She was sitting time. actually here, wow. and her brother was sitting here. And there was any cows out the back, there was, there was no houses out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had put out the dinner, and Rory turned around and said, you know, you're eating Daisy. Wow. And was her pet that cow was it. Was her Daisy pet was like, I thought was my pet cow. That was it. She just got up from the table, and she said, I'm not eating meat anymore. But that's a, said, it can be so mind-blowing for a kid, yeah. you know, yeah, to yeah, develop yeah. a relationship well, well, yeah. with Kids an animal. Kids can be kind and cruel. Like right, right, right. <laughs> Was there something musical going on in the family? Like, how did you get, how did she get introduced uh, into... My record yeah, collection. Music. His record oh, collection. Yeah. Back in the day, I used to buy albums as a hobby, you know what I mean? And I played them here. It would always be music blasting away, I guess, so that kind of helped them. I kind of got involved in trying to promote a few things at one stage oh, really? of my life. In the near, well, I did a bit of promoting, yeah. I can remember one time she, when she was getting into music, drums, she wanted drums. Dad, I want to say a drums, whatever. We have to go to, and I, I thought about it after. Buy this drum kit, we had to go to an area up near the border called Hollywood. Oh, buy, yeah, yeah that was I forgot about that. So she, Well, that influence from musical influence is incredible because I guess her influence of not eating meat has rubbed off on you guys yeah, as well. Go. The first Christmas she was away and then she's back for Christmas or whatever. And of course she said, please do not have a bird on the table, right? So we said, okay, I can handle that. Vegetables, no problem. I have no problem with the vegetables. I could, could be a vegetarian, and like I, as I say. And you both my friend. <laughs> I am a half-assed vegetarian. Right. <laughs> but... We, we said, right, this, why not? She's home. I said, do it for one we year. We can do this. Everyone's talking about crazy. Problem. So now we've done it in Los Angeles and we've done it in New York. That's mm -hmm. five, five years, five years. Yeah. Yeah. I asked it, so basically instead of, because it's really hard after, I mean, they've been listening to me for 15, 20 years at this stage, mm -hmm. going on and on about not having meat in the table in my more activist, annoying phase, which is still there with your family. But anyway, stuff like Christmas, it's just like, I don't want to, I was getting upset. I didn't want to like, Sit, and they don't even really, none of them were heavy eat meat eaters mm -hmm. anyway. It's like, instead of buying me any gifts for Christmas, can my gift be no meat on the table <laughs> that year? And well, it's every it's year. Really and now it's kind of a thing. It has been the thing now. And we said, what do you eat for Christmas? Which is so Every, funny because yeah, everything yeah. else is right. the same. Yeah, like he's, her grandma is uh, like, yeah, what do you eat? Like, why is going to, you have to have, you have to have turkey, you have to have something, you know? And said, no, no, it's fine. Just yeah. like. We do the stuff and do everything that we normally do, and the gravy and everything, bar the meat. So we we don't we have another process. I mean, I know. And we haven't even this Christmas we did not meet. No, we haven't done it in five years. True horror, actually. We do start looking at labels and wondering what this is and what this is, and we're eating better. Yeah, definitely. I'd say that. You guys look great. Far age, we're not doing too bad. But she's pretty. She's pretty stubborn. Like she gets you to think her way eventually. She backs off sometimes, and then she comes back again. Oh, she was a little bit embarrassed at the beginning. After brekkie, we went for a walk around Mullingar. I really enjoyed Mullingar. From the second we got there, I was thrilled to see how diverse and progressive the community there was in terms of its food and its people. After working up a lunch appetite, we went to Belly Cafe, a veggie-friendly restaurant in the center of town. 
a cafe that is quite literally flying their community flag high. And there she is. Hey, how y'all? Hey. Welcome to Ireland. Oh, thank you. As always, in here to check out your vegan options. Thank you. Thank you for making Mullingar vegan friendly. Yeah, you're welcome. How did you even find out about Mullingar for the first? Love. Love. Mm -hmm. Love is in the air. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I met my wife in San Francisco. We got married there when it was legal for that five minutes in time. Right. <laughs> and then <laughs> Marion wanted to move home. Her parents are still alive, so. And you had never been to Mullingar? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you had? Oh, yeah. Oh, so it's yeah, like yeah. a long, pretty long yeah. relationship, so. Yeah, 26 years. Wow, <laughs> that's awesome. It's amazing. So, yeah. you, so you fell in love with Mullingar as well? Yeah, I had to. <laughs> she said she wanted to come back, so I said, okay, let's go. So okay. we went, yeah. Really? Mm. Just like that? Pretty much, yeah. You know, we were in the real, real estate market and it all crashed in San Francisco. Mm. And Marion wanted to come home, so. And because we got married, Ireland recognized our uh, marriage as legal. Beautiful. Here, so I'm legal here. Excellent, excellent. Bring it in. <gasps> so you're bringing us food, or? This all right. Is. This is yeah. yours. Is this a salad sandwich? Oh, yes. Oh, uh, yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. Awesome, guys. Yeah. It's so great that I can come to my hometown and see all these amazing vegan options available. How is yeah. Mullingar responding to the vegan menu? Yeah, they're getting into it. Nice. Yeah. Were, yeah. You, were you always a vegan? No, never. I only became a vegan to uh, make the menu. So we wanted to do a lot of vegetarian stuff here because in Ireland, they all kind of serve the same. There's like a, a menu that they all stick to, you know? So we mm -hmm. wanted to blow that out of the water and do something totally different. I saw the flags flying oh, here. Yeah, and I was yeah. like, oh, it's just like, <laughs> wow. I was like, is that among you are? Like yeah. a flag, like a gay. When you came here, did you have any fears and then people would be like, hmm, very conservative about... No, because I knew a lot of people because they used to come visit us in San Francisco, you okay. know? <laughs> yeah. Right. So it was, the move was pretty easy because mm -hmm. I knew so many people and then the people, uh, the street that we moved on to, like three of our friends actually live two doors and three doors down. So it was an easy move for me. Mm -hmm. So they all accepted me and everything, so... So it's pretty open-minded. I wasn't minded. afraid. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. So I just flew my flags anyway. It's, it's wonderful. <laughs> I haven't had any backlash. So. Right. Yeah. No, but I think Mullinger is yeah. a friendly town. Yeah, yeah. because you've or always felt that. I just don't know that. what it is. Oh, oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, so that's a nice song. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was makes it a, the street pop. You know? Right, right. <laughs> and was it important for you to have an establishment representing yeah. the community? Yeah, yeah. I, I want it to be great. a safe zone, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everybody's welcome. Yeah. I love it. In places like this, a small town, yeah. and uh, it's yeah. beautiful. Flying a pride flag and serving yeah. us vegan food. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. That was a delicious meal and it was so great to chat with Cheryl. Thanks a million for joining us in Mullingar on the Highway to Health. Join us on the next one when we go to Greystones, County Wicklow, to have some fun with these lads. Oh my God. And don't forget to like and subscribe.